Hello Miramar, Mayor Wayne Messam, and welcome to the Mayor's Corner. Wow, we've been very busy since the last episode, and right out of the gates, I would like to thank everyone who participated in the fourth annual Mayor's 5K run. We were thrilled to have over 400 people running, walking, and just getting healthy as a community. Thank you to our sponsors, Memorial Healthcare Systems, Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, Aetna, Champ Sports, Trader Joe's, and Runner's Depot. We'll see you all next year where we plan to bring back the actual fitness fair. So we'll have the 5K and the fitness fair that has been such a hit in the city of Miramar. As the mayor of our wonderful city, I have the awesome responsibility of being our city's ambassador. And recently, the city of Miramar, in conjunction with the city of Fort Lauderdale in Broward County, joined together for a trade mission to Dubai. The purpose of the mission was to identify business opportunities for our respective cities and Broward County. As you know, Miramar being a very international community and serving with South Florida as the gateway to the Caribbean, Dubai is perfectly situated to access the Middle East and Northern Africa. There are some strategic opportunities with Myanmar's uh, foreign trade zone to be able to provide information and resources for our Myanmar-based businesses that wish to expand their services or trade goods in that region. We look forward to uh, continuing our relationship with Dubai as well as Sharjah, which is a neighboring city in the Emirates that hosted us during our visit. It was a wonderful experience and we look forward to continuing our relationship with our friends over in the Middle East. For those of you who may not know in the city of Miramar that now is the holy month of Ramadan that is observed by our Muslim community. And it was my pleasure to host the annual Ramadan Iftar dinner on April 5th in partnership with the Muslim communities of South Florida. It was a beautiful celebration with so many people attending from the county, including a number of elected officials from other cities that joined in with myself and the city of Miramar in recognizing Ramadan and our Muslim community. We look forward to spending that time with our friends and neighbors next year as well. Recently, I hosted the mayors of West Park, Pembroke Pines, and Weston in the Miramar Cultural Center in addressing the Realtors Association at a breakfast in partnership with the Miramar Pembroke Pines Chamber of Commerce. It was a pleasure to speak about our great city, what we've done, and who we have become as a city. As you all may know, the real estate market is very hot in some places, some may say even unaffordable. So it was a pleasure to be able to show all of the investments we've made as a community, as well as looking at the future outlook of our city as it relates to housing and some steps that Miramar is taking to ensure that everyone who wants a house or a place to live have quality housing in the city of Miramar. In 2015, during my inaugural State of the City, I challenged our staff to come up with better ways to serve our community, specifically leveraging technology, and for the city of Myanmar to become a smart city. Wow, it's amazing. Just seven years later, the, set, the city of Myanmar has been named as a five-time recipient of the 2022 Smart 50 Awards for various smart city projects. The official announcement was made by Smart Cities Connect Media and Research, which is a division of Tech Connect, which annually celebrate the most innovative and influential municipal scale projects in the entire world. Awardees reflect the changing priorities among municipalities. This year, 30% of all projects assist with urban operations, 26% support improved mobility, and another 26% featured digital transformation. It was really exciting to hear what was said about Miramar during this year's awards. Miramar is a trailblazer among smart cities. It is now the first city to win this many awards worldwide. Having won two Smart 50 awards in 2021 for the city's Smart Water Meter Project and the Building Energy Management Systems Project. This, along with five awards in 2022, makes our accomplishment unprecedented, said Laura Bonold, Managing Editor Smart Cities Connect Media and Research. So not only are we serving our residents in a smarter way using technology, 
We're also challenging our residents to take part in the Wylands National Mayor's Challenge of Water Conservation. I hope you all have registered to participate in the 11th Annual Wyland National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation. All you have to do is go to mywaterpledge.com from April 1st through April 30th and pledge to do your part to conserve water. In addition, Miramar will be giving away our own prizes each week throughout the month of April. Here's how it works. Fill out a manual pledge form, drop it into the Take My Pledge for Water Conservation box at City Hall. Each week we'll have a drawing and you can win a Roku Smart 32 inch television, an EcoSmart tankless water heater, a Google Nest Smart thermostat, and the best thing is you don't have to be present to win. So join me and take the pledge to do your part for water conservation. And hot off the press, as of April 11th, Miramar ranks number one in the entire nation in conserving water. So we need you to continue to register yourself as well as telling your neighbors so that we can finish off this challenge on April 30th in first place. We're in first place right now, so let's make sure that we end in first place. Well, you know I cannot end a mayor's corner without inviting you to community events that is meant to bring our community together. And I'm so excited to bring back The Longest Table. It will take place April 24th, 2022 at 5 p.m. at the Miramar Regional Park Amphitheater. This event brings together the community for a free dinner to meet and mingle with neighbors you may have never met before. Our first Longest Table was such a hit, we had so much fun. So come on out for a nice meal and wonderful neighbors in a great atmosphere under the canopy of the Miramar Amphitheater. And I'll see you on April 24th at 5 p.m. Thanks for joining me for another episode of The Mayor's Corner. You know, I'm very excited about the future of our community. I'd like to give you a heads up on the City of Miramar's Innovation Village, as well as some improvements in our community. So what is the Innovation Village? The Innovation Village is a facility that will merge together the best and brightest of the future while improving and empowering our community to be a part of that community. So stay tuned to find out a little bit more on what it entails and how you as a community can benefit from the Innovation Village. The city of Miramar, we've had so many firsts, and this will be among the many firsts that we've accomplished together as a community with the purposes of ensuring that we stay number one and remain attractive in this ever-evolving world of technology. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The Mayor's Corner. Thanks for joining us.